Good morning, Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Martrich with your April 10th, 2013 outlook. And we're starting off today with the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today for a slight risk of severe storms. This is everywhere outlined in the yellow here in the middle here. And uh, this, thing, this uh, does encompass the southern half of our, our coverage area. Uh, you know, includes places like uh, Carlisle, Harrisburg, uh, York, Lancaster, Allentown, Reading, Philadelphia, and then interior South Jersey. I think if you stay uh, south of I-80 in Pennsylvania, you're okay, and you're not looking at any uh, any severe weather. I, I do agree with what the, exactly the way they depicted this today, but I'm not very overly impressed with a you know a uh, excuse me a severe thunderstorm outbreak. I don't want to get everybody get the uh, the idea that there's just going to be this uh, you know opening day of, of severe thunderstorms and, and it's going to be, you know, all hell's going to break loose. It's not going to be, uh, going to be very isolated today. The chance of thunderstorms today are 30%. Uh, you know, it's not, not very high, so I don't want everybody to get too excited thinking we're going to get hit, you know, get hit pretty hard. Okay, starting off with the uh, precipitation from the European model. Uh, we do have the, the precipitation this afternoon. It's just giving you an overview. There's the uh, thunderstorms this afternoon. And then uh, we, we are going to have a system on Friday. This can provide a Thursday, late Thursday night and, and all, during the day on Friday. This can provide some very heavy rainfall and another chance at thunderstorms again ahead of a cold front on Friday. You can see that here. Very heavy rain uh, is expected as this moves through. And... Uh, Behind it, we're going to have a nice weekend. So that's what we're, that's what we're looking at. Uh, Saturday and Sunday look dry, and it will be chillier, but near, near normal temperatures for this time of year. Okay, going to the interactive radar right now. Uh, not much of anything showing up. A northwestern PA, we've got some light showers. This was expected uh, in accordance with the, uh, the high-res NAM, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, first thing, uh, we just to give you an idea of what's going on here, we have a, have a warm front that's kind of sitting like this very weak low pressure sitting right like this okay and then this warm front continues like this okay so well you're gonna have your best you're gonna and you're gonna have your best uh, chance of uh, severe thunderstorms today are gonna be in this sector here where it's gonna remain warm again like it was yesterday so if it got these areas here you know Lehigh Valley Allentown you know Harrisburg York these places that got to over 80 degrees yesterday are going to get close to that or or to that point again today because you're going to be south of this front areas to the north are going to be in the 70s maybe even 60s up here with the new uh, the New York Pennsylvania border and of course some showers that are sliding along here you're gonna have these disturbances there's gonna be a total of three uh, disturbances moving across along this boundary here and this boundary is going to kind of stay pretty pretty much quasi stationary right here so which, which means it's not going to move uh, it's the boundary stays where it is uh, I guess weak disturbances are going to move across these uh, you know there's another one but it's going to be sitting back here that's going to move and these are going to move east along along this boundary here okay let me clear this out so here we're not uh, we're not looking at so much of a mess okay boundary here you're going to have these little low pressure systems that are going to ride this boundary and it's going to just take one of these impulses, one of these boundaries that's going to ride this boundary across here today. It's going to set off the severe storms. And uh, the best change of that happening is we're going to have the highest dew points in this area here uh, where it's warmer. So that's why we have that threat further south. Okay, now I'm not overly impressed with this uh, this severe thing today because I think it's, it's the uh, thunderstorm is going to be very isolated. You're going to be relying on some uh, bow echo line segments in here. That's shown on the uh, NAM here, and you can see uh, see a line segment starting to form here. Now this is uh, this is two o'clock in the afternoon. It's showing on the NAM here. Very impressive for radar features here, by the way. Uh, as you go over there, there's there's uh, three o'clock. There's four o'clock. <clears throat> you know, so it's 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 very there's four o'clock there, it, so it's very impressed with a you know a Boeing line segment here. I'm not uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, definitely going to happen there, and if it does, I I don't think they that, that every one of these lines every every one of these cells within the line becomes severe. So it's going to be something we have to watch. But uh, you know, if it does happen, it's not going to produce. I don't I'm not impressed with the hail threat today. Uh, there's very limited vertical updraft. Uh, you know, going on, so uh, that doesn't impress me. So I don't think we're going to be dealing with hail. Also, the outflow boundary on the uh, there's going to be a strong outflow on the thunderstorms, which also reduces the tornado possibility. So we're going to eliminate those two for the forecast. Keep it a straight line wind damage threat of greater than 50 knots or 58 miles per hour possible in the strongest cells embedded within this line. It's not everywhere within the line that's going to get it, and not everybody sees that line. Just want to make that very clear. Okay. 
Um, and this is also just this model's pr uh, projection. Doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen. But one of these impulses that move, you know, one of those low pressure impulses I showed you move along that line are going to be what, be what, what triggers this. Uh, if it does happen, so we'll have to keep an eye on that today. We do have the severe thunderstorms today. We give the window between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. because once it hits dark, it's over. We lose a convective temperature, and and then you can't have severe. You can have thunderstorms, are not going to be severe anymore. Heavy rain, frequent uh, lightning, and severe wind damage uh, greater than 58 miles per hour possible. And these are just in our southern regions, not northeastern PA, not north central. And lastly, temperatures today again, we're staying right where we were uh, basically yesterday. Same areas that got very very warm yesterday. We'll do that again today. And uh, the areas tomorrow will be scaled back a little bit in northeastern PA as that front tries to sag to the south. And then uh, we have that, so we think we have another warm day again. I know we have uh, some, some outlets have gone less aggressive over in eastern PA. I, thought, I saw a couple of forecasts for Allentown for 62 degrees on, on Thursday. We have 76, so I think we're, we're going to stay with that and stay aside with the warmer temperatures yet on Thursday. And then it cools down Friday with the cold front. I am Eastern PA Weather 30 meteorologist Bobby Martrich. Have a great Wednesday.